Hey guys, and thanks again for coming to GetYourDealersLicense.com. Today I'm going to teach you a negotiating tactic to knock down the price of a vehicle. Let's say you show up at a private party um, residence and you kind of get the vibe that the seller really needs to sell the vehicle. Now what you need to do is uh, display an air of indifference. You need to display that you're not really that interested in the vehicle. You simply, you know, you're looking at one of many. That's what you need to do. And you also need to show up and you need to identify key flaws in the vehicle. Key flaws that you can point out to the seller to tell them it will take a lot of reconditioning to get this car back into shape. Now you don't want to tell them that you're reselling cars. You want to sell them on the fact that you're buying the vehicle for their, your very, very picky wife. Your very picky wife who does not take no for an answer. Now you don't, of course, want to bring the wife to the showing on this one. You want to keep the mystery woman at home, even if you don't have a wife claim that you do. Is it a little silly? Is there some acting involved? There is. But that's the game that we play, people. We have to role play. So you show up, let's say there are melted crayons in the carpet. Um, there's a grease stain, maybe there's some coffee stain somewhere on the carpet. You're looking at a minivan like I talked about in my last video. You show up, you say, oh man, this thing's going to need new carpet. My wife will kill me if I bring this home like this. <sighs> What's that going to cost? And you look at your friend you bring with you, who's always a spoiler, who knows more about cars than you do, and your friend says, oh man, you're looking at at least 500 bucks, brother. I can recarpet it for you, but you're going to have to buy the carpet. So then you look at back and you look down at the ground and you say, oh man, and you look like you're calculating the price. I don't know if I have the money to pull that off, you say. And you just kind of sit there and don't say anything. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up and let the seller stew on the fact his car isn't the cream puff that he thought it was. So once you have that embedded in the seller's head, that man, this poor guy, his wife's going to kick his ass when he gets home. Uh, the poor guy hasn't had a hot meal in six years. Uh, he comes home with his minivan his wife's gonna kick the crap out of him I want to make a sale I'm sick of showing this damn minivan this this is what's going on in the seller's head one of two responses this guy can fuck off if he doesn't like it or I need to make the sale because I need to pay my rent so in the seller's mind they don't want to feel like they're being ripped off they want to feel like they're helping a family if they feel like they're helping a family then you're going to get them to cooperate more than if you show up in a Mercedes trying to buy a min minivan and you're wearing gaiters and you're wearing some true religion jeans and a nice coat and you look slick and you got a sharp haircut. You got to show up kind of looking a little bit trashy. Like you don't have a lot of money, but you got to come at them like a good old boy. Like you got to come at them in such a way that makes them believe in what you're telling them. They got to believe that what you're telling them is... Um, you're doing a service for your wife or your family member alright so you want to get the price down by pointing out flaws in the car but you don't want to insult the seller you don't want to say oh you're never gonna get this price for this car you want to say hey look um, man I don't know what are you asking again for this thing 2700 well the carpet alone is gonna cost me 500 not to mention looks like you got a slow oil leak now you bring your friend along to pick the buyer apart you will look like you kind of sort of want to buy it. You show a little interest, but your evil buddy who knows about cars is picking the thing apart subtly. Don't insult the seller because if you insult them and you piss them off and their ego gets in the way, they're going to tell you to fuck off and, okay, hey, I have another guy coming soon, so make your decision right now. So don't give them just a little bit of hope. Be like the woman in uh, high school or college that was a cock tease. She gave you just enough hope so you stayed on the date and paid for the drinks, right? Guys, am I right? You feeling this? She gave you just enough hope so you stayed in there and then you got a peck on the cheek. I know, I know you guys are laughing right now, but you know exactly. I don't care how sharp you look. You and I have all been there. You got the peck on the cheek at the end of the night when you tried your best and you spit your best game and you still got dissed at the end of the day and got a peck on the cheek. Okay, so you want to be the cock tease. You want to be the high school prom queen top cock tease in this transaction. You want to look sort of interested to get the guy to pay, to get him to play ball, but you don't want to give up uh, the proverbial booty on the date. You want to score the big buy and score the big win over the other guy. That's your goal is to get him to bend to your will and not the other way around. And you're going to accomplish that by doing just what I told you in the video. If you need to watch the video again, 
to uh, to get more tips and really let this sink in, that's exactly what you need to do. So hit refresh on the button, hit subscribe now to subscribe to my videos. I got a lot of good content. I'm spitting venom in this shit. I'm gonna keep coming out with videos every single day until you guys really get this. And then on the next video, I'm gonna talk about my $100,000 club, guys. This is gonna be hot. I promise you guys are gonna love what I got coming next on GetYourDealersLicense.com.